pot roast. Can't do this as a regular episode because it takes about four hours, and unfortunately, during the time in which Hank and I do our regular episodes, there is just isn't enough time. So I thought today I would do that. So this is a, a version of uh, beef bourguignon. So I've got my ingredients all laid out here. So this is our two pounds of beef. We've got some, uh, the recipe calls for button mushrooms, but I'm using uh, crimini mushrooms because I like the flavor. Uh, we've got two cups of low sodium um, beef stock, and I'm using an organic, organic one. We've got about two tablespoons of uh, red tomato paste, as if there's any other kind. I've got two slices of bacon. Uh, it's cut up into about half a strip, strips. And then I've got a quarter cup of flour mixed with uh, some salt and pepper to taste. Make sure you season your, uh, your beef well. We've got some good wine here. It calls for a half a bottle of nice dry wine. So I've got a, it's a Shiraz. It's one of my favorite wines. And I have two lovely bay leaves here. So uh, the recipe takes about four hours. At the end of the three and a half hours, you're going to add one cup of frozen peas and then two cups of uh, frozen pearl onions. So I'm using a mixture between pearl and cipollini onions. So first step, we have to actually render our bacon. So I've got the bacon here. I've got my pan going. I need to slot it something. We're going to lay this out once it's cooked onto some uh, bacon towel. Okay, my bacon is crispy. I'm gonna remove it, put it on this paper towel. Just get all the whatever fat is left onto it. Paper towel, our beef, and we're gonna season it in my flour, salt, and pepper, and then we're gonna brown it in the pan. Now, what I've done is I've done uh, most of the pieces. I've got one batch left, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna add them to the pan. So, actually, first I'm gonna add some to that. So you want to cook these nice and brown on all sides. So while those are browning, I'm going to do the last batch of my beef. Once they're covered, just uh, lightly shake them to get the excess flour off, and then you're going to add them to the rest of the pan. In batches, of course. Okay, my beef is done, my last batch, and I'm going to add that to the pot. The rest of the So there's lots of good bits on the bottom of this pan. So what I'm going to do is add in about a, a cup of uh, the wine. Remember the wine is half a bottle, so wooden spoon and scrape all the good bits off. And you add this to the crock pot as well. So add this to the crock pot. Bits. Next we're going to add in the rest of the wine. Two bay leaves. We're going to add in our beef stock. And then we're going to add in our tomato paste. And then last but not least, I love garlic, so I'm going to add it to the recipe, and that is three cloves of garlic. You can add as much or as none at all, if you wish. And then the neat thing about crock pots, you just leave it alone for about three and a half hours when I give this a good stir though. Yeah.
I've got a timer for the three and a half minutes, three and a half hours. Okay, three and a half hours are up, so let's take a look at our tripod and see what we've got inside. Ah, it smells fantastic. Give it a good start. So now it's at this point that you add in your mushrooms, your cup of peas, and your two cups of uh, pearl onions. I'm using pearl onions and chipotle onions for this one. It's like that. back on, reset the timer for another half an hour, and we'll be right back. Okay, so four hours are up, and my slow cooker is now on warm, so it's just going to keep it warm. One of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the liquid from the crock pot, which is in here now, I've strained it, and I'm going to make a sauce. So I'm going to put it into a saucepan on here, and then we're going to reduce it down to about 75%. Add a little bit of butter, make a very nice um, thick sauce for our beautiful pot roast based on a beef formula. Okay, I've reduced my sauce down to about 25% uh, of what it was originally was. I've just put a little pat of butter inside. Butter is going to smooth it out and bring a really good sauce. So here we have our sauce. It's nice and thick. Goes my spoon. Now, what I have over here, um, one of the recommended things you could add as a side dish, or to actually put the the pot roast on, is some uh, mashed potatoes. So you can make your fan mashed potatoes. Mine happens to be garlic mashed, so that's what I. Have. So I'm just putting some mashed potatoes on a plate, smush it around, grab my other spoon. Here we have the pot roast. A little chunk of stuff in my crock pot. So I'm going to ladle some on here. We've got some beautiful peas. The little pearl onions are here. Our mushrooms have reduced down in size. It looks quite good. So I'm going to spin some of the sauce over. We have our French pot roast. So good. Mm, that's great. I'm going to be devouring that. Thank you very much for watching. And as Julia Child would say, bon appetit. Take care. And I'll see you soon.